I am a partner of Ash NYC. The architecture already had quite a bit of lightness between the white oak floors and the light framing of the windows, so we thought it would be interesting to infuse a heavy dose of contrast in the furniture and the art and the accessories, so throughout. The building presented such a unique opportunity with these reinterpreted bay windows, and we're positioned in a corner here. It's really this fantastic sort of semicircle that we had to work with. So to complement that, the right move for the living room was to act encompass a circular rug and sort of have this radial symmetry. The High Line is a favorite park of New Yorkers and visitors alike. It was critical that we offered an opportunity for the residents of this home to enjoy it, but also for them to step away and enjoy their home at the same time. In the dining, we have a table that's vintage, surrounded by vintage dining chairs as well. In the kitchen, in addition to having a series of stools around the island, we have this sort of lucite table with a waterfall edge so that you can take advantage of the views interiors have these kind of darker metals in the light fixtures and in the handles of the cabinetry and so that is certainly echoed throughout the palette in our furniture and even in the framing of the artwork so that it tells one story. We thought it would be a perfect opportunity to showcase a really dark rich space. When you have lighter elements like artwork, an area rug, and a sofa positioned in front of these almost black walls, you end up with a sense of depth. In the master bedroom, we thought it would be a great opportunity to try cooler tones, something that's soothing. And so you'll see these notes of blue throughout, especially on the custom linen coverlet on the bed. Over the bed, we have a wall hanging that has this sort of dip dye feature that really speaks to all of the different tones in the home. In a neighborhood like this, which is arguably the art capital of the world, to have a home that really spoke to the collector mentality. So the artwork throughout is a really significant collection of photography, of paintings, of sculptures. To me, this is a trophy apartment, and I think that's what this is all about.